Okay, now we're going to start on the first coat on the mouth. We are in the second firing. And by the way, I was able to find the brush I was talking about in the, the little video on applying the shadow brow, the one I couldn't think of the name. Uh, they are both Sealy brushes. It's the Sealy Small Contour SBR82 and the Sealy's Large Contour SBR83. Um, both of these will work in order to sweep your shadow brow and get all the lint and get it smooth and everything. Um, so both of those are available from Sealy's and I can get them for you if you need them. So that was SBR82 and SBR83. Okay let's go ahead and get on to our mouth then okay again I'm using the medium area brush which is SBR 28 I use this brush for an awful lot of things okay now I do not want any medium on the mouth I'm not going to apply any medium there uh, I'm gonna you know face will be totally dry in the mouth area the color I'm going to use is my French lip. Got a piece of fuzz there. So the color I'm using is French lip. I have some magic medium on my tile. Remember all of my paints have been mixed with medium number one, but the actual medium I'm using on the tile to run my brush through or to apply to the face is magic medium. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little bit of medium on my brush, run it through the paint, and let me show you here. The exact same thing like I did with the eyebrow paint. I want this paint so it's thin enough that it blends very smoothly on the tile to where it will just streak right across there for me but yet not so greasy that it slips and slides all over the place. This is moving very well, so I think I'm ready to get started here. Okay, I'm going to start with my dot-to-dot -dot method again. I'm going to place a dot at the uppermost peak of one of the bow of the bow of the mouth. So I'm going to put a little dot on this side and line it up with the nostril and then I'm going to put a little dot on this side lining it up with the nostril. Okay so let me show you those two dots. See it lines up with the nostrils. Okay now my mouth is going to come out and turn up on the corners so she's smiling so I'm going to put a little dot of paint in the outermost corner where my mouth is going to turn up into the smile. So that's going to be a dot there and a dot there and then the other one I need to fill in with on the top lip is one right in the very center which is going to be the lower point of the bow of my mouth. Okay, let's see if I can get this up close. So as you can see I have five dots to start with there on my upper lip. Okay, now I'm going to put two dots for my lower lip. Again, I'm going to dip in just a little tiny bit of medium, pull a little bit more of the paint out onto my tile, and streaking it out in order to get it blended. Okay, now, if you look at the pictures of the original antique dolls, which I've included in your CD tutorial, there is part of the bottom of the lip shading is going to show. Like the mouth does not come all the way down to the bottom part of that molded lip. There's actually some of it 
that you can see that's not going to have paint on it. So I'm going to apply one dot on the left hand side of the bottom lip and one dot on the right hand side of the bottom lip. Far enough up that it's leaving a little bit of that molding showing. Okay, see I'm not all the way down below there. There's a little bit, I think we can get this up there, a little bit of that molding showing. Okay, now I'm going to actually start taking my thinned paint mixture, which is streaking very nicely on the tile, and I'm going to start filling in all those dots. Also be careful not to rest your hand on your shadow brow, because that's wet and has not been fired yet. Okay, so I'm going to start by filling in the corners of the mouth first. You know, the outside corner is the little smiling edge here. Go down here. Paint across there. And fill in. Need to reload my brush. I'm running out of paint here. Remember, keep this paint as light and smooth as possible, you know, so your paint is not getting applied too thick. Okay, so I'm still filling in the bottom of the upper lip. And the upper lip is going to meet the lower lip. Okay, now I'm running a little bit crooked here. Kind of running uphill a little bit. So on my left side, as I'm looking at it, I'm going to add a little bit to the bottom. And then I'm going to take off a little bit at the top. I'll show you where I'm at here. Okay, now I'm going to take, it's uh, Sealy's SBR 19, it's their yellow tip lip brush. This is the brush that I like for erasing and cleaning up. So I'm going to dip that in water, blot off the excess water in order to form a point on the tip of the brush. And then I'm going to use that just slightly dampened brush to go in and clean off a little bit of my edge here that I don't need. I'm a little bit too far up. Okay, I think I'm a little bit leveler here now. Okay, so I'm going to continue to fill in my upper lip here. Okay, so now I'm going to start to form the peaks. So I'm going to bring the brush up, connect with the upper peak, you know, the upper dot, come down, connect to the lower dot, then I'm going to start the peak on the other side, so it's going to come down, go up, come down around the corner, and connect with the smile on the outside corner. Okay. I'm still trying to get my shape correct here. This is something that takes a little bit of building here in order to get just the right shape. Okay, I need to go out a little bit longer on this side, so it needs to extend out here just a little bit. I'm going to fill that in. I'm going to go back in and fill in the center of my mouth. of the upper lip, that is. Okay. Need to get a little bit more of my smile going on this left 
outside corner. Okay, that's getting pretty good. I've almost got my shape up here on top that I want. I'm a little bit pointy right here on the upper one. I'm going to round that out a little bit. Okay, now I have the upper lip on. My paint is not as smooth as I want it. So I'm actually going to take my finger, I'm just going to very lightly blot over that upper lip to take some of the excess paint off, which wasn't much because I actually had my paint to just the right consistency where it painted in there very smoothly. Okay, so now I'm going to take, it's a Jane Houston size 2 little Deerfoot stippler or you can use a the small square shader will work any brush that you can blend with that's small enough to get inside your mouth area there okay so now I'm going to take the little stippler and I got a little piece of fuzz on there okay I'm going to go back in and just very lightly pat the paint So I can go in there and get it blended totally smooth. So I'm just very lightly pressing the brush down on the paint, making short little strokes, and blending that all in. Okay, now I'm going to take the yellow, tri yellow tipped cleanup brush, the one I use, the lip one, and I might be up just a little bit farther than what I want to be. So I'm just going to take the edge of that brush. and run that along there. To smooth that out. Okay. See if I can figure out how to get this held up here. Okay, so there's my upper lip. Now I need to study it see if I need to change something. I think I need to fill it in just a little bit on that side right there. It dipped down just a little bit too much. And then just a few little pats with the stippler will blend that very smoothly. What I want is a very smooth, even coat to my first lip and it'll all be the same color. Uh, I don't want any, you know, change between, you know, the lightness and darkness on the mouth. That all comes in the second firing. What I want right now is just one smooth, even coat. Okay, now I need to go down and do the bottom lip. I don't have that one yet. Okay, so I'm going to go in with my medium area brush again, making sure I'm avoiding my shadow brow and not resting my hand in it. I'm going to go in and fill in the bottom part of my lip here. Okay, I need to add just a little bit more on this side. It's just slightly lopsided. 
Okay, same way with right here. Okay, now I'm very close to what I want here. I've pretty well got the shape. I might be just a hair long right here, so I'm going to run my dampened brush right along that edge to take off just a little bit where it might have been just a little bit too long there. Need to redip my brush here, blot all the extra water off, and then I'm going to just run it right along that edge because it's just a hair too wide right there. Okay, now hopefully you can see in the video here that my lip is not going all the way down to the bottom molding on that lip. It's raised up just a little bit. If you get it down there too far, she's going to have too big of a mouth shape. Okay, all I need is just a few little strokes through there with the stippler. and my mouth is totally smooth. Okay. So there's my first mouth shape. I'll study this a little bit more before I put it in the kiln, make sure I've got it totally right. Okay, then the only other thing we need to do right here is we do need to get the nostrils in. So I'm going to take my brush, a little bit of medium, little bit of paint from the corner of my pile of paint. I'm going to go in and this is also the the color I'm using is French lip. So this is like the base coat to my nostrils. I'm taking the medium area brush and with the very tip of it I'm painting just a nice smooth even all over coat to the nostril. Now in the next firing or else in a subsequent firing I'll add a darker smaller dot of red paint to the top part of the nostril and that'll give me my double nostril effect like most French dolls have. Okay, now that's all I'm going to do to this head, this firing. So this is ready to go in at, I'm actually going to put it in at an 019. China paints normally fire to 018, but since I've got so many coats yet to go on this head, I'm only going to fire to an 019 now so I don't start burning out my reds with all the firings. So I'm going to fire this to an 019. Okay, that's it for the second firing.